Greetings, Gemini. I hope you are doing lovely. This is going to be a weekly reading from the 29th through the 5th of May. What's going on with you this week in your love life, ladies and gentlemen? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go with the flow, and then we're going to take it from there, all right? What is going on with Geminis <clears throat> during this time? Ten of coins. Beautiful, beautiful. Some of you ex are experiencing a transformation or have experienced a recent transformation, which entails a sense of stability and groundedness. This could be economical. I'm getting the sense of, however, I, I am focusing on love. So <clears throat> is this a relationship? Am I tuning into Geminis that are in a relationship? What's going on? Why, why this Ten of Coins? Let's further expound uh, the situation. Queen of Pentacles, all right, Three of Coins. So whomever it is that you're dealing with, Gemini, you and this individual seem to be on the same page. All right? I'm not saying that you're going to get married or that you are married or that you're in a commitment or committal relationship. I know I did mention that. However, it has that essence of that. All right, Whether you find yourself in a commitment or not, the sort of energy that, that you and your individual are intermingling with, the sort of energy that you and your individual are dabbling with, imbuing the relationship with, seems to be along those lines, encompassed by stability, encompassed by groundedness, encompassed by really building something stable. All right, stable, stable is the key word. Stable is the key word. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this connection that Gemini is experiencing. Well, this is actually quite beautiful. Look, some of you are actually single. Some of you are independent, but you're engaged in a relationship as if you were coupled. All right. However, what I'm seeing here is that this, re this relationship is basically moving towards direction. All right. And what I mean by that is it's moving towards a form. It can be in the midst of being formed and it's moving towards solidifying a form. Tell me more about this. <clears throat> I know my metaphors can be a quite, can be quite weird and perplexing at times, but I'm sure you guys are witty individuals and can catch my drift easily. Well, look, look no further, ladies and gentlemen. Look no further. I guess my spirit guide is trying to stupefy this reading for easy comprehension. Basically, this relationship is moving towards a union, flat out. Sure, you are unified, you're experiencing union, you're engaging with this individual, you're diligently working, and you and this person seem to be quite synchronized, to be honest. And it's only moving towards further solidification. All right? However, one thing that I want to emphasize is the significance of this relationship. This relationship goes deep, ladies and gentlemen. All right? It goes deep. It goes much further than physical attraction. And I think this is something that you can agree with. It goes beyond the physical attraction. This is something that touches or moves you emotionally, mentally, possibly spiritually. Nevertheless, it's deep. Okay? Let's look into whomever it is that you're dealing with. Whomever it is that Gemini is dealing with. Let's look into this. Whomever it is that Gemini is dancing with that lover's energy with. <clears throat> the tower. Destruction strikes. I'm gonna start adding morbid music into my -na -na -na, into my fucking readings. Imagine that. That'd be pretty cool. I'd be fucking with your emotions left and right. Adding, but that would take too much time. You know, I'd have to take too much time. Anyways, the tower. <clears throat> okay, so with the death, the tower and the death. Go figure. And the strength card. All right, we got three major arcanas regarding this individual that you're picking up. So let me formulate this for you in words. What I'm saying here is that there's been a massive paradigm shift here in this individual. Whatever sort of stability or status, or not stability, but more so status and, and uh, just pattern, mental pattern, perception that this individual could have had just completely transformed. It changed. I don't know what happened here, and I don't care. I'm not going to look in the past. All right, we're going to focus on the present and onward. With that said, there's a massive change in regards to this individual's approach toward you, Gemini. That is what I'm saying here. And Geminis, you guys have, some of you, not all of you, some of you are amazing individuals, and I wish I was friends with you, 
but others of you have some big ass mouths and I don't give a damn if this is not your reading. All right, if this is not your reading and you're miserable and you, and you want love, go elsewhere. All right, this is not your reading. But if this is your reading, listen up. Whomever it is that you're dealing with just went through a massive shift in paradigm, okay? And this isn't anything easy. Whatever sort of urge or rather compelling motion that this individual is moved by to you is something that costs them, all right? It's effort. It's, it's not easy. It's not easy. That's what I'm getting here. It's not easy. It's, it's a bit challenging. It's, it's alluring. They want this. They initiated this after all. They're, they're not a victim to destiny and say, oh my God, the universe changed my mind about Gemini and I want to, you know, basically fortify this relationship with them. No, no. They initiated this. They want this. All right. But what they signed up for is something that, that is quite changing internally for them. Let's look deeper. <clears throat> the star card. We got nothing but major arcana, ladies and gentlemen. Look, the star card and the ace of coins. So, what I'm seeing here is that this individual was already desirous of this. I'm not sure why this person has not been acting the way they are or the way they're going to be because they've been wanting this for a long time. They've been wanting this for a long time. What has been holding this individual back from fully just, you know, going after it, going after the Gemini relationship that they want? What's been holding this individual? What's been... In Heating this individual, their own selves, their own selves. They could lack a bit of a. Uh, they could have lack a bit of security within themselves, and it could be related to economics, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why I'm getting that. Uh, that's something for you to ana ana anatomize. That's something for you to dissect. That's something for you to analyze. Okay, scrutinize. Do you hold a, a higher position when it comes to your finances or maybe your job or who knows? Maybe you just exude a, more confidence when it comes to the mundane stability. Okay, mundane stability. This can also be their house. This can be just their mundane stability, all right? Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm getting a sense that it was themselves. There was nothing outside or external to them that was holding them back from the approach that they're now moving towards you with other than their own stress, other than their own hindrance. All right. <clears throat> now, Gemini, to simplify this reading, we don't have to get all fucking deep under the rug and let's go see what kind of bones we exhume. You know what I mean? Let's just keep it. Let's just keep it. Nah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start focusing on love and light readings. All right. No more darkness readings. No more shadow readings. All fucking glitter, rainbows, butterflies, love and light. That's what I got for you nowadays. All right. Why? Because I'm a magician and you are watching a magic show. I'm kidding, guys. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I know I, I'm intense right now. But uh, I'm just in a good mood. I get like this when I'm in a good mood. Anyways, any words of wisdom? Any words of wisdom that want to come forth for Gemini regarding this, this beautiful week that they have ahead? Truly, I mean, guys, stability, fluidity, synchronicity, expansion, fortification. Not fortification, fortify, fortification, all right, of a relationship. I see two souls come together, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> this could be the mating dance. Any words of wisdom that want to come forth to Gemini? Watch out, some of you are going to get pregnant, ladies and gents. I'm kidding, you're not going to get pregnant unless you want to, okay? But let me tell you what I'm seeing here. This is the Venetian energy, beautiful, the Empress. This is absolutely beautiful. And with that said, look, Gemini. So, as a matter of fact, I'm going to do something real special for you. All right? This is exclusive to you guys. To you guys. So, if you've been watching this video for this long, I got something for you, which is going to absolutely expound this card. Okay? But just to summarize it, this card is all about... In order to embody the Empress energy, there has to be union. There has to be love. The masculine has to come forth, impregnate the magician, the Empress, or rather the High Priestess. This is the High Priestess impregnated. One plus two, right? The magician, the High Priestess is two, equals three. So with that said, this is absolute nurturing energy. This is absolute vitality. This, this form of union is, is love, 
Okay, and this is a sort of energy and essence that you are sitting on. Okay, it's not easy. It, it takes a long time to get here, obviously, right? It goes up to, and it's bound to fluctuate. I'm not saying that you're fucking bound to, to live a holy, happily ever life with this individual. All I'm saying is that this is the essence that you are experiencing, or at least the potential that exists, ladies and gentlemen. This is beautiful, truly. This is the, the, the epitome of love, the epitome of beauty, the epitome of all of our human deeply desires. This is what we yearn for. Deep down, all the, even if you say that you don't want love and fuck love because you've been hurt and all this shit, bullshit. This is what you want. This is what you want. The Empress energy. With that said, I'm going to leave you a longer exposition on that in the description down below exclusively just for you. And if you read it, let me know because I went into deep trance and I meditated on this energy and I wrote this. All right. So tell me what you think. With that said, I'm going to take this to the extended and I'm going to continue to dissect this situation and see how far this love is actually going to go. See what this individual's got going on for you. The link to that will be in the description as well. I'll see you around, gentlemen. What a pleasure.